Hey, welcome. We're here at the Lensman Project Gallery in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're going to look at a wide variety of black and white images that I've shot over the last number of years. Some of the images I'm going to show you I shot on black and white film back in the 60s and 70s when I was a young cub photographer working for a newspaper in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I studied the works of Eugene Smith and Ansel Adams and some of the great black and white photographers. Now in the digital age, I'm able to take a color image that I've made and turn it into a black and white image incredibly easily with today's software. So let's have a look at some of these images that I've shot in the 60s, 70s, up till today. When I was a young cub photographer for the newspaper, we shot only black and white uh, for the newspapers, especially our sports. Uh, I, I had to cover the Milwaukee Bucks and the Milwaukee Brewers. We shot on, uh, we shot on Tri-X film. We had to push process it. We had to do a lot of things uh, because the light and the lenses weren't nearly as good as they are today. But it, it was just, it was really, really a lot of fun back then to get in the dark room and, and see what you have. The, uh, uh, there was no instant gratification when we, when we got an image. We had to wait till we processed the films to see what we got. And uh, that was always kind of exciting. Uh, sometimes it was a little stressful, but uh, very rewarding when you saw what you got at the end of the day. Ansel Adams used to love the word pre-visualization and I do too. A lot of times when I'm out in the field and I'm shooting, I actually uh, can see the image in black and white before I even shoot it. Uh, the world looks different in black and white and, and when you learn to see in black and white, you'll easily uh, pick out situations that are perfect for black and white photography. And that's either as a landscape or a portrait I like to do a lot of my portraits, even my sports portraits, I love to do them in black and white. Uh, it just, I, I think that black and white in portraits, even in landscape, I think it just gives the whole image a real timeless uh, look to it. So uh, it, really, it really appeals to me. Most of the time, black and white, it doesn't require any different technical expertise than color photography. Um, you don't need to change anything the way you use your camera. It's just the way you view the subject. Use the light, the shade, and the composition uh, to capture the image and the character that black and white has to offer. Another thing when you're doing black and white photography, look for contrast. The black and white photos usually have some sort of uh, pure white uh, portion that goes to uh, near black. So the, that kind of contrast uh, adds interest to the scene. Another thing in uh, black and white photography, don't be afraid to try long exposures, especially if there's water involved. Bring out your 10 stop, five stop neutral density filter and you're gonna be amazed at the kind of effects that you're gonna achieve on your images. When I was working in the newspaper business, I was a huge fan of Eugene Smith. And so I used to follow some of his techniques when he would dodge and burn on his images. In the newspaper business back in the day, we did a lot of that. Now you can do that with a real easy slider uh, in your toolbox, in Photoshop, in Lightroom, um, in Nick software. So it, uh, don't be afraid to use some of those techniques either to maybe uh, vignette the edges to bring a little more emphasis to the center part of your picture. When I was a, a young photographer just coming up, I spent a tremendous amount of time in the dark room. I was a dark room junkie. Now, I'm pretty much a Photoshop junkie. I use Lightroom, I use Photoshop. Uh, I just can sit there for hours uh, working on my images. It's something that I really enjoy. And I enjoy it as much now as I did years ago when I worked in the dark room for hours on end. A lot of people have asked me about how I do my post-processing and it's really difficult for me sometimes to explain how I do it because I never process the same image the same way twice. I always do it differently. I do everything in Nick software in the Silver FX Pro. Uh, it's a plug-in. Uh, I, I just like it. It's, a, it's the best one on the market, I feel, and it works for me.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner and also click the bell and you'll be notified of all upcoming Lensman project videos. <music>